A senior advisor to Iran's supreme leader has told Euronews that Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's presidency has effectively come to an end, with more than a year to go before the scheduled election. After parliamentary elections earlier this month, Mohammad Javed Laranjani said the West should recognize that Iran has a new kind of democracy, and he defended the country's controversial nuclear program. Larijani also reacted to the recent meeting between the leaders of Israel and the United States, where the possibility of military action against Iranian nuclear installations was discussed. Putting myself in the place of American people, it will be a bit uh, disgrace because, I mean, to catch the heart of the American people to, go, to get the office, it seems that people are first going to getting the, the heart of Netanyahu. Uh, and they pack rather than the heart of the people. Uh, it was a distraction from the mainstream issues that American politicians are confronting. Uh, Iran's nuclear program is so transparent. Uh, everybody knows the reality of that. So my reaction is that it was a s political setup to distract the attention of the uh, people from focusing on economical issues, which is very hard to resolve. And neither the Demo Democrats nor the Republicans, they have any viable program to answer. But anyhow, uh, this cursed uh, discussion of, of, of uh, violence against uh, a nation is unprecedented. Now you say the nuclear program is transparent, but even the Russians have said recently that really Iran must keep its promise to allow international inspectors access to the nuclear program, which didn't happen earlier in February when the mission from the IAEA came back empty-handed, uh, having said that uh, they were being refused and blocked along the way. Where is the transparency? Monitoring is, is continuous over there. The cameras are there, the people are going. And, well, empty-handed is a bad word that they used it because it depends how they define their mission. Uh, obviously, they should define their mission beforehand. They cannot wave their hands and say, I want to watch, to go there and watch it. But let's go to, to the idea in, of transparency. In a transparent system, okay. that, that would happen, wouldn't no, it? Even, even a transparent system, it, is, it doesn't mean that they can give a telephone call and want to, to go to that place. We agree to the transparency fully-fledged. But the equation has two sides. Transparency is expected from us. Cooperation we expect from the other side. We should have access to all, all, all um, non-military uh, uh, part of the nuclear uh, activities. We should, we should have the ability to enjoy the cooperation uh, of other states. We are deprived of all of that. And then unilaterally they ask Iran to be transparent. It is so, uh, I mean, uh, inconsistent. So it sounds to me like you're saying there is not complete transparency here because you're not getting the other side of the coin. No, in fact, I want to, I want to say that transparency is an spectrum. It depends at what time, what thing is catching the eyes of the monitors. For the nuclear reactor in Tehran, which we use that to produce uh, I mean, drugs and uh, medical treatments um, for, for the uh, cancer patients, I mean, obviously, we should be able to buy a 20% uranium enriched. Well, you, first they said we, we should be swap it. We said fine. We said no. You should give all of your uh, minimally enriched. It doesn't make sense. We want to use our nuclear reactor in Tehran, which is totally for medical treatment. So okay, forget about it. We made it and we used it. So this is bad habits of United States. We do not accept the leadership of the United States of America. This is absolutely a failed story. But they can treat us like any other sovereign state. Fantastic. We can talk, we can deal, we can give and, and take. We can do a lot of things, but no order. This leadership may be accepted by Germany, by Sarkozy and others, but definitely not by Iranian. Well, the, the, the basic issue is obvious. Iran is emerging as influential power in the region with a different uh, system of, uh, of a social political system. We have our own democracy, 
not based on secular liberal system, based on Islamic rationality. And this experience, which we are going more than three decades, is turning Iran from an stooges of the United States to a leading country in the, in the area with the, the most advanced level of science and technology. Could you explain that democracy when opposition leaders are being held in detention and many candidates are not allowed to take part in an election? What kind of democracy is that? Well, first of all, the opposition in Iran, I mean, I mean the reformists in Iran right now, they have about 40 seats in the parliament. Those who are in jail definitely not because of their political views, because they are acting with, I mean, outside the legal structure. To act in a, a civil society, we should, we should respect the laws even if they, don't, if they don't like the laws. In Iran, if somebody denies God or denies that he, I mean, the legality of the Islamic system, then why he should be able to participate in, the, in, the, in an election, which is by oath it is intended that somebody should come and work for the Islamic system. But are you suggesting that Mir Hussein Musavi or Mehdi Karubi have denied the existence of God? No, I'm suggesting that they, participate in a, they participated in a coup d'etat against the state in the last election. It was not a campaign for the election. They misused the election euphoria and at the end, even before the results to come out, they announced themselves as the winner and they asked the people to come to the street, bring the government down and create a new government. This is ab absolutely a coup d'etat. This is a great crime against them. Have they been tried for it? Well, in fact, they are under, under surveillance and the dossier is against them compiling. But in fact, the, the, the government and the establishment wants to have a, a soft to play with them in soft hands. It is not in the interest of the nation. Such a great nation with, with, with uh, confidence in its uh, power to treat their mistake at the maximum penalty. So the system wants to try them with minimum penalty. Where does President Ahmadinejad stand now after the elections? Where is his power base now? Well, President Ahmadinejad is finishing his second term. So c'est la fin for the presidency. So obviously, according to the Constitution, he cannot run again. So we are concentrating for the next election to pick among the candidates and rally behind one of them, and perhaps we will be successful. Yeah.